Just gonna make sure that everything's good. Do you want to tune a bit? Yeah, I'll be tune. Hello to anybody watching. Yeah. So sorry about that, I think there may have been a bit of a false start, it's but it's all okay. What's that sound we need to get rid of? Okay, so welcome and sorry for the delay, just a few technical hitches, it happens, lock them. Yes. Abel's just going to check that all is okay. Oh, and a bow. Yeah, all and is good. He's also got a knitting needle now in his bow. <laughs> That's what happens when things go wrong. Um, welcome everyone to this session. Sorry again for the delay, but it's a good test of our mindfulness, isn't it? To just stay patient and calm. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you could um, give us some nice pitting in the background to start. Okay. Get us in the mood. <laughs> so welcome everyone and thank you for joining us for the second session of Music and Mindfulness with the City of London Symphony. My name is Ruth Gibson and I'm a violist and member of CLS. And this is Abel Sadaljoy on cello and voice. We're um, streaming right from a very um, rainy grey Hadassage. And we're going to bring you some breathing and movement. Goldberg Variations, the aria, or what I should say, it's everything except the melody. And that is because there are two of us and we are playing a trio arrangement. But hey, that's lockdown, that's what happens. So we're going to use that to our advantage and we're going to play the music in lots of different ways. We're going to hear a lot of this beautiful bass line that Abel just played. And I'll play along when I can, and when I can't, Abel is sometimes going to magically sing at the same time. And I promise you by the end you will hear the melody. So I should say why I picked this music. Um, I love Bach and I've actually played the Goldberg Variations quite a lot last year. So it felt really nice to come back to something, a bit of nostalgia, remembering all those concerts. But also what I love about this music and with all of Bach's music is his ability for the music to feel really in the present moment and really human. And I'm, I'm practicing a lot of it at the moment and I guess a lot of other musicians are too, as we heard Will yesterday. And I think it's because his music is really grounding and really human and has this amazing ability to feel different every time you play it. So even when you come back to a piece you may have played a lot, it's, it's a completely different experience, which is uh, not dissimilar to my mood during lockdown these days. So that's kind of why I picked this music. And breathing and movement um, are two kind of practices, I guess, that I use to kind of feel calm, come back to myself, be present. Um, and I guess breathing is probably the simplest and most effective way to come back to ourselves. Um, it reduces anxiety. And I, I guess it's a great way to just be in the present moment when the world can be overwhelming and hard to understand. Just being with yourself in that time is great. And when I listen to music, I guess the most instinctive response is movement or dance. So that's the idea with today. We're gonna to try and fuse them all. So before we start, I should say, you don't need to have any yoga experience. The movement is going to be incredibly gentle. Um, but like with any kind of exercise or yoga, if something doesn't feel right, be kind to your body and just come out of it. If you were to lie back and just listen to the music and breathe, then that's enough. Really, the movement is there to kind of stick. If you can get there without the movement, fair play. Um, so here, I have a yoga block. But if you had a book, a thick book, that would work just as well. And that's going to just come in useful for a few bits. But if you don't have it, no worries. Okay, let's get back to the music. Okay. Abel, can you play us that um, bass line again? Let's have a listen. Okay, just the bass line. Yeah. yeah.
first time, or I should say second time hearing it, it might not be so clear that the music is in three. Let's add the viola part and see if it helps. I'll count us in. One, two, three. Maybe you like to take your, your book underneath you, get a bit of height. And just hands can come onto the thighs, and you can sit or lie back any which way that feels good. Let the shoulders drop. Maybe eyes can close, and just noticing your breath. Maybe where the breath goes to, the sound of your breath. And just using the exhale to really release the body, maybe even opening the mouth. And we're just going to start to breathe with that music. So I'll count us in again. Abel, do you mind playing the bass line and maybe you could sing the viola line at the same time? Okay. <laughs> okay, one, two, three. Inhale. different it feels now without that anchor. You can slowly start to blink open the eyes and come off your prop if you haven't. I'm just going to move my viola away for us to start with some movement. So I'm going to start in this tabletop position and as I said you probably want something soft underneath you. It doesn't need to be a yoga mat but maybe just a rug or a blanket, and we're just going to make sure that our wrists are under our shoulders, our knees are under our hips. So maybe we start with a little bend of the elbow. This position is called tabletop, and we're just going to take some wrist circles, just warming up the wrists slowly. Just bending the elbows just to take a bit of pressure off as we notice how they feel today. Maybe one feels different than the other. Certainly mine does. That was a click of my hip, I think. which looks like this. We roll the shoulders away. We look ahead of us or if we can up to the ceiling. We drop the belly, arch the back. Exhale. We empty out the breath, scoop in the belly, look to the belly button and just arch the back. Pressing hands into the ground. So I'll show that again. I like to bend the elbows in between. So we inhale, roll shoulders back for that cow position. The belly drop. Exhale. Press into the ground, look to the navel, and just get your heart to kind of almost float up to the ceiling. That's it. Great. So let's do some of those with Abel now. We'll start to inhale, we look forward. Big 
toes to touch at the back and just slowly reach back with the hips as far as you can, letting the arms stretch out in front, maybe reaching them even further. It doesn't really matter if your hips don't reach your heels, but you probably want to let your head fall down. So if the forehead doesn't come to the mat, you can use your hands, or if you have that book, you might want to place it under your forehead. Just let yourself get settled and comfy. And just return to that breath. Stay there because I'm going to join Abel for a bit more playing. So just get settled in that position, making any adjustments you need. And we're just going to focus on that feeling of filling up as we inhale and that release as we exhale. And maybe even we can hear it in the music this time. It breathes with us. So I'll count the same. One, two, three. I'm just going to change angles so I can show you the next move. We're back to that tabletop position. So again, wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. And from here, I'm just going to show you the next few moves before we go into a kind of flow. So we're going to send our energy down into that left wrist and whole hand, bring the energy up as we reach that right hand up and kind of fan open to the right side, looking up at that top hand. So we're going to exhale, look down and inhale, look up for a few rounds. And from there, we're gonna do a thread the needle. So the right hand comes underneath as we exhale and back up as we inhale, fanning out. And maybe you wanna continue that, or if your back allows it and it feels good, the third part is gonna be when the right ear comes down and the left hand can come out to the side onto fingertips and you roll the shoulder back. So this is more of a static move. And if it doesn't feel good, just stay with that flow. So get yourself back in your tabletop position, maybe a little roll of the shoulders, and we'll start to flow with Abel. So sending the energy up that left hand as we inhale, reach up. Exhale, keep the hand there, but look down to the bottom hand. Inhale, reach up and back, fingers spread, and exhale, look down. noticing a difference when you come back there. Just a little shoulder roll again, maybe turn the opposite direction, which always feels a bit weird. And then we're going to go on to the other side. So this time grinding our right hand down and we inhale, look up. Look up to that hand, spread the fingers and then exhale, look down. 
want him to really stack his shoulders as best we can on top of the wrist. And just come back to that breath as we inhale, look up. And exhale, look down. forward and again use that book if you needed it for your forehead and just come down into your child's pose. Catch your breath, maybe notice how the body feels now, maybe a bit warmer, you can feel your heartbeat. And before we play some music and we attach our breath to that music, I just want you to bring your awareness now to the sensations in the body and where you want to send your breath. So in child's pose, I feel it very much in my back. So maybe you want to bring the, the breath there. So I'll count us in, and every now and then I might remind you of inhale and exhale, but focus more on the sensations than anything else. One, two, three. noticing how it feels to breathe when you don't have music as an anchor. And just being curious to that feeling. No need to label or decide what that means. Just being curious. And when you're ready, blink open the eyes and make your way to a seated position. So notice how here I've got my block and my book. I'm going to just have a little sit on both of them, see if that feels good for me. It's always good to be kind of curious. My body feels different every day. So some days I need a lot, some days I don't. And you can kneel here or you can be cross legs. So just have a little play. And if neither of those feel good, maybe even just getting a chair. So just rest our hands on top of our thighs. And just letting the shoulders drop as we exhale, open the mouth. Just noticing how the body feels energy in the body. We're just going to take our hands to our ribs now. 
And we're closing our eyes, we're just going to focus our attention on what happens to the ribs when we inhale. And what happens when we exhale. See if you can soften the shoulders still as we inhale, feel that expansion. And as we exhale, it's like we hug back. Let's take one more round. And then bring the hands out to the side, maybe blink open the eyes. So my fingertips reach the ground here, maybe your palms do. We're just going to press our fingers into the ground, help us to find a bit of lift and open the collarbones here. We're just going to take a small sequence here, just try to open each side of the body. So take your right hand and we're going to reach up as we inhale. And exhale, reach up and over to the left up to the top hand if it feels good. Inhale back to center and down with the right hand and then the left hand reaches up. Two, three and exhale up and over to the right. Inhale back to center, reach up and down that side and the palm comes down. One more time. So we reach up, feel all on the right side of the body and then we exhale up and over. attention there as we breathe in, swelling the belly, the ribs, the chest, and then exhale, letting it all subside. Blink open the eyes and we're going to just take our right hand to our left knee and our left hand behind us on fingertips. And we're just going to inhale here, fill up the chest, nice and tall, and then we're going to slowly start to rotate to the left. So notice how the movement doesn't need to come from the neck. As we inhale, we fill up and as we exhale, we slowly twist. So I'm letting my left shoulder do the work really. Inhale as we come up. And exhale, twist. Open the mouth. And then slowly return to center. And drop the shoulders. And then we do the other side. Left hand comes to right knee. Right hand comes behind on fingertips. We inhale, just fill up the chest. And slowly exhale to the right. Maybe roll that right shoulder back. And then inhale. Being tall in the body, creating space before we exhale and twist. One more inhale. Reach up. Find that space. is the neck release, our final pose, or I should say our final pose before Shavasana. So we're just going to open the eyes, take a nice inhale, fill up the chest, let the collarbones just roll back, and exhale, bend the head, maybe the chin comes to the chest. We inhale, let the chest come up to the chin, and then exhale, bring the head back to center. Really subtle movement with the neck. We inhale, look up the ceiling. We exhale, open the mouth. Inhale, close the mouth, let the tongue stretch. And exhale, head back to center. And just from here, we're going to start to let that left ear fall towards the left shoulder. That's it. So try not to shrug the shoulders up. Let them soften down. And by letting them soften down, you're going to feel this stretch along the right side and maybe this is enough if you want to go a bit deeper you take the left hand place it on top of the right ear and just let gravity and the weight of your hand and arm encourage that deeper stretch the chin is still facing forward rather than down and maybe you close your eyes
sensations in the neck. you to come into Shavasana, our last shape. Oh, we'll hear the melody at last. So for Shavasana, you really just want to completely relax. So for most of us, that's just a case of extending yourself right back down. Palms can face up or down as you wish. Just let the whole body soften. The toes can just flop out to the sides. And just completely letting go. You feel that your thoughts are coming back you can always start to attach the breath to the music again otherwise just let it wash over you and enjoy stay here and now you get to hear the young one dance <laughs>
So maybe you want to stay in your Shavasana a bit longer. Or maybe you want to slowly come out of that position. Being very gentle with the body. Warming up on your fingertips and toes. And just very gradually starting to make your way to a seated position. That's the end of our session for today. Thank you so much for joining and for being patient at the start. And um, that's just, I guess, what happens in lockdown. And yeah, technology, I'm not the best at it. <laughs> <laughs> We've done um, pretty well. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, thank you very much to Fiona and Natasha for making this possible every time. Um, it's not easy as a musician not being able to perform, and it's actually, can sometimes be a bit nerve wracking these kind of live events. So, um, yeah, the support of CLS to its musicians um, is really important. Um, and I thank all those that went before me because I was getting very nervous and I think everyone else has done it, so I'll be okay somehow. Um, and particularly Anne last week or two weeks ago when she started the mindfulness. So um, I guess this is the part where we ask if you are in a position to be generous enough to donate a little bit of money, it would be really, really appreciated. Um, CLS is a kind of organisation that is quite different to many in the sense that we value the work we do on and off stage equally. Um, I certainly do a lot of our participation work and working with people that are very vulnerable and socially isolated and that's way before you know lockdown. And so it's these events that let us connect with people, you know, human to human through music, but you know, just we want to share, I guess, our vulnerabilities and just find a way to keep going. So if you are in a position and you can help, we'd really appreciate it. But I hope you got something out of the session. Um, and if not, thanks for trying anyway. <laughs> um, have a good night and enjoy Fiona's classical and um, comfortable classical tomorrow. And I think what is the next one? Jane, it's two weeks later. Thanks everyone. Thank you. Bye-bye.